What's up everybody? I'm Evo Rebel. We're here on R Factor 2 in some BMW M2 CS race cars. I think a set of course that needs these cars. We're here at Laguna Seca for a little 10 lap shootout here in these M2s. We are on the full fancy. Oh, why are these guys breaking so soon? We're gonna dive on the inside though. Throw it in second gear. There we go. So we are doing a lot more racing here recently. I don't want to get into contact because we are doing the endurance races and stuff here very shortly. So I'm trying to get my bearings straight with this game. Now I don't even have my crew chief app on, which would definitely be helping me right now, knowing what cars are where. So we're 10 lap, little sprint here in Mazda Laguna Seca in some M2 CS's. Make sure you guys follow me on Instagram and Twitter. I'll have to find the description box below. Hard dive in break there. Don't wanna had to give him that line. Don't want to screw up too, too bad. We started from dead last in a rolling, in a standing start. We're going to get that line there. We're going to take that. Oh, getting a little dicey. So, a set of course that definitely needs this car. This M2CS race car is an amazing car. I love how it looks. I love how it drives. And it's all we got some wrecking what happened we had some cars wrecking all up in there we'll have to you know double take and see what exactly happened you guys will be able to see because it kind of has the overhead view for you guys as well short shift at that one so like I said this is a 10 lap race we are on the first lap oh and we have worked our way up these drivers are up at 100% and the driver aggression is up there as well at I believe 25 so we're gonna have to work our way up if we're gonna want to get up into that first position those two got into a tussle hitting up my locking up my ABS wheel gets a little chatter a little bumping that's what you get with spec car races So like I said, I've been doing a lot of racing here more on R Factor 2. Do like a set of Corsa, but a set of Corsa doesn't have the ability to add AI to an online session. So my friends and I have been doing some online racing with AI. If you guys want to see live streams of those races, we usually do them every second Tuesday and fourth Tuesday of the month. If you'd like to see the live stream of those races, let me know down in the comments. But like I said, I've been doing a lot of race. 12 hours of Sebring has actually been canceled due to the COVID virus outbreak, but I will be doing my 12 hours of Sebring here at my house with my buddies. Now we're deciding if we're gonna be doing it, all of us here, or if we're gonna be doing hot swaps over the internet with them at their own houses with their own rigs. So if you guys remember, I did do that 12 hours of Sebring last year in Forza Motorsport 7 this year, we're going to be doing an R Factor 2 day and light cycles in the GT3 class cars with some uh, GTEs and some DPIs on the track as well. Some multi class racing. Oh, I thought it was too soon. Whoa, boy. So, we are definitely trying to fight our way up to get in this position. I think we're 10th. Maybe? No, no, I don't think we're 10th. I actually don't know what position we are in don't have my telemetry up to know what position we're actually in so we're just going I can see how many laps I got left because I can see it on the instrument cluster oh I'm do get a little squirrely through there want to stay in third gear but I thought they were going to solve a lot more dive through there on a breaking move there we go nice and clean nice clean pass one thing I'm getting used to now is racing clean lines and passing cleanly waiting for my opportunity to pass oh he lost it I was going to try and take that pass but we are not going to We, like I said we are on the Fanatec rig with the factory Fanatec Forza Motorsports wheel hopefully going to be switching this up here maybe to you know an NRG 320 race wheel here very shortly because you know gotta, gotta support the people that support me but racing is definitely something that is not on this channel too too often but I know a lot of people like racing so if you guys want to see more racing content whether it be ooh, 
these little sprint races and some M2s or the live streams of uh, my friends and I racing online, you know, I'd be more than welcome to throw those live streams up for you. Ooh. We're going to get him on the inside right here. Late break. Back up to EBS. Oh, grass. I don't think, are we going to be able to make that pass stick? I can't see what spot we're in. I think uh, they got numbers on the windows here. But I couldn't see what has said. I didn't make that pass stick. I gotta go the long way around. Always oh, hit me. Don't spin me out, buddy. Fighting for this. I think. I think we're in fourth. I think he's fifth. I think we are fourth. Now I'm on a way offline. Not the correct line, but we're back. So, definitely. I've been enjoying the GT style racing here recently, trying to uh, muster up the skills and the courage to head my way into R Factor uh, online, as well as maybe some I racing. I racing is definitely a big, big step up from this. But if I can do it and have some fun with it, then it'll be worth it. Oh, go! And if you guys would like to maybe get into some spec racing here on R Factor 2 if you have it, either in these BMW M2 CSs, which I think I would love to do with you guys. I can post a server and post it up, and you guys can log in to the server, and we could uh, do some practice qualifying and run a race on any given day. So, if you guys would like to maybe do some spec racing here with these M2 CSs, if you don't have it, or if you do have it on our Factor 2. Oh man, that guy turned into me. Oh, I think this is third, second, and first, I think. We are definitely hauling here, and I think we're only on lap five, I think. Hard on the brakes, we got that. We're gonna make this pass stick. There we go. So like I said, they are on 100%. I think I might have to put this AI a little bit higher, but I would like to get online with these cars and race some other people. Maybe get some of the TUS guys that I know from the racing division that would like to race. I didn't make that pass stick, he's still there. Definitely should have my crew chief app on. So he could tell me where he is if he's still there. I gotta hold my line because he's on the inside of me. I'm trying to race him clean. We are gonna make the pass. So yeah, we are in second. I did see the his window plate change to three. Oh, oh! Don't lose it. Now we just gotta catch this first place guy. Hopefully we have some time. The car is a paddle shift car. We do need clutch to uh, start rolling. But after that, we don't need it. And we can stall the car, but we do our button box set up to the side with our ignition, our headlights, and everything as well. Let's get a little bit of headlight flash. But it's not going to do any good in the daytime. Force speed back pretty strong. Oh, I didn't want to pop that curb. That's a bad idea. Laps are we on? Did we only do? Did we complete five laps? I think. Yep, we are halfway done. It looks like I can see on the gauge cluster it says five slash one. It looks like that one being probably one percent of the track. <laughs> definitely think I need to up the difficulty a little bit on this AI in these cars or maybe what wow, jeez or maybe I need to uh, well I guess just up the difficulty I can't go higher than 100% but apparently 100% I am walking the AI but I do need to get online and compare myself with some other real world drivers and other players because we all know AI is not always the fastest stay right behind him pace him a little bit. I'm gonna make this a little interesting. I got time to pass him. I got laps. 
Oh, man. Don't pace him too close, though. That will definitely happen. So, this car I would love to have in a set of Corsa, and there's a car that I would love to have here in Arfecta 2, and that's the MX-5 Cup car. The MX-5 Cup car is definitely a very fun car to drive, but I would prefer this car in a set of Corsa, because you know I would make a really awesome drift car out of it. Oh, gosh. Get a lot of wheel chatter under braking with this car, and I think it has to do with the ABS system engaging. But I could be mistaken, so if you do play R Factor and you know what that chatter is, let me know if there's a way to get rid of it or if it's just me hitting the brakes too hard because right here I don't feel it, don't feel it, don't feel it. Now I feel it when I push in really hard on the brake. I think it's ABS. I probably could have made that pass stick. But I'm trying to buy my time here. Something I'm learning to be patient, especially with the 12-hour race that I'm going to be doing. I'm going to have plenty of time to pass. Not going to win it in the first couple laps, the first hour. But in these little short sprints, definitely got to get your way up there. He lost under braking. Oh, that was a bit of a greasy pass. We are going to take that pass, though. So we are in first, last to first. That was quite interesting to say the least. So now we just gotta remain smooth. Oh, I say that and we lose it. So now we have, don't stall the car. So now we got ground to make up, well then. Oh. Now we definitely have some ground to make up, and I don't think we're gonna make it up by the end of the race. See, I got too cocky, I didn't focus through the corkscrew, and well, that that's what happens. But I think I'm much faster. Should have the speed to catch him. I see him. I'm in fourth, so I should be okay. Hopefully I don't do that in the endurance race. That would be bad. I don't want to be the guy that wrecks. If you guys remember last year's endurance race, it was my brother that actually wrecked. With one hour to go, we were able to make our way back up in Forza because I believe ketchup was on. So we're doing it in R Factor 2 this year. And R Factor 2 has, you know, full flags, caution laps, full course cautions, pit strategies, all kinds of stuff we're gonna take that inside. I don't think we're gonna make it stick though. Nope, he got a better drag out. Just file back behind. We'll make it stick here though. Play break. There we go. So RFAC 2 is definitely a more intense of a racing game. More, you know, G based on GT racing, we will have multi-class racing, so the stats will show us laps behind, but we will have what position we are in our group and class. So that's definitely one cool thing about the game that I do love that don't give it a set of Corsa and the fact that you can add AI on online sessions so I can have my buddy and I come in and we want to race and there's 20 cars but it's only two of us versus you know 18 other AI which is definitely a very cool thing because there's more cars to race and Competizone would have been the next best game if it had that option too but it does not so unfortunately this game it's very cool. I love our factor 2. The handling characteristics, the cars are amazing. The fact that you gotta buy some of the car packs and stuff are very, very, a little disappointing, but if I want to get into iRacing, that's a whole nother ball game. I don't think I'm gonna catch it. Because we're on lap 9 right now, so we got 2 to go. We are gonna have to haul definitely be on our braking zone games although we might be able to catch him after the end of this lap I don't know I think I might be able to catch him so more racing content to the channel to come with the endurance race if you guys want to see some live racing with my buddies when we do our uh, bi-weekly races 
I could throw up the live stream during practice and qualifying, talk to you guys, do my stuff, and then get into the race. I usually run from about, I would say, 6.30 Eastern U.S. time until about 8.30 or so. So we have, I believe, an hour of practice, half hour of qualifying. The races usually last about a half hour or so. So if that's something you want to see, let me know. Make sure you guys follow me on Instagram and Twitter, all of which are found in the description box below. More a set of course of drift content as well as car versus the dragon VR content, some tandems, some modeling um, tutorials, and stuff like that are on their way as well. Got a whole slew of things happening, and with, oh man, did not expect him to break. And with this whole you know COVID 19 you know thing with possible you know quarantining of people for a certain amount of time, you know. Be, uh, trying to hunker down if and make some good content for you guys to watch so if you guys are stuck at home or whatever I got some content out for you guys to watch because well that's why I do these videos and once again I'm in first and I lose it that was cheeky to come back on track I don't know if this is the last lap or if we have one more lap I think it says nine so I don't know if we completed nine or if this is the ninth lap and we have one more after this. Should really put my telemetry up so I could see. But, well, I wanted to get into it. Go, man, come on. Move out of the way. Flashy the headlights. We're going to take down the inside. Heartbreak in. Cut. There we go. That's a bit of a greasy move, but we got it. I think we may have one lap to go after this. Not mess up the carousel this time, or the corkscrew. Why did I say carousel? I'm thinking Norschleiven. Way offline to that turn. I think we may have this win. I think next time I may have to up the difficulty or go online if I can find some. And that is the finish. That was the finish. I believe. I think that was the finish. So I think we were able to take the win here in this little 10 lap sprint. So I like thank you guys for coming back and watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. I'll see you guys on the track. Thank you.